they want they want trees that are at least uh, one inch in diameter, and this one is. If you look right here, you can see where the tree, where the tree was bent right here. You see some lines in it. But, uh, there's a hornet nest under it a little bit. Is there really? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it looks like when this tree was bent, it was uh, almost looks like a lightning strike, don't it? Yep. Bob, what do you think about this tree? I like it. If you'll notice, see, see it didn't go up here, so you can see the bark. Right. See the bark. You see the contour of it, how it's been over. And, uh, you know, like you were talking about earlier, about the, there's a theory that they twisted the, yeah, they, you know, yeah, the, that's what that uh, little Cherokee girl told me that nurse. She said that uh, they uh, somehow twisted them. I don't know how they could do that. Like they, they uh, for instance, well, would they, this they, be proof of that? They sort of work, work the, yeah, worked yeah, like them like that. this yeah. until they loosen, like loosen the fibers where right. they could manipulate them a little better. Yeah, that's that's it. that's the first time I'd heard about that when See, you were talking about that. Looks to me like they. They did that and split it right here, yeah. and it healed back together. But, well, I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the grassed trees up there, along Jumbo Road. Mm -hmm. That one comes up and has got a sharp bend. You know, it's eight foot over to the other tree. Yeah. And then it's got another sharp bend going right in the tree. That's, that's, almost, that's almost impossible. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I think. What a, a master of knowledge yeah. to do that. Yeah, and and the the uh, yeah, and the most and the most uh, telling thing too is the fact that the you know that the uh, on the opposite sides of the trunk of the main trunk, yeah, there's a protuberance as if it, it, just was, like it was stuck right through. Right. It. I I don't know how they did that. That's the only thing I can think of is, as you were saying, we were talking about the, the dividing, the dividing those fibers yeah. and make it easier for them to make a slit and, uh, uh, you know, cut the tip off of another one. And well, most trees when they're bent like this will just break. Yeah. I mean, you take one and just bend it over, it's just gonna, it's just gonna break. That's that's really interesting. This that's is weird right, right here. here. Uh, the other tree I saw down down the road is a little different. It doesn't have the sharp bend in it, but uh, it's a big tree. It's a very big tree. And sometimes you'll look in the woods and you'll see a big tree, and then when you get to it, it's not as big as it is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and sometimes, um, as for the what we call the grandfather tree, one the yeah. first time you came down, we documented that. Um, that big yeah, that arch big, one yeah. um, from the road, it doesn't look that like that big of a tree. Then you walk up on it and you just realize what a monster it is. So. Yeah, it's, it's pointing right along that road too. Right, right to that spring. Right to that yeah. spring, that the spring down there. Yeah. I wonder, maybe shut up, and leave you alone. Oh no, I'm yeah. fine. I wish Barnett was here to. Yeah, some of this because he always wanted to come down and go on that river road. And is that right? Well, we're going to go along the river road. We can road today. dedicate this river road part to Barnett. That, that's what there we'll you do. Go. He went with me on a lot of trips. We documented a lot of trees. I'd have to tell him, you know, when we were out, hey, Barnett, I need you to go stand by this tree so I could get a, 
idea, you know, mm -hmm. the size of it. He said, no, nah, I don't feel like it. I said, I'm going to tell your granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. 13 or 14, and uh, my cousin had come up. They lived down by San Jose. This was up in Wren County, pretty close to uh, Hamilton Air Force Base, a little town called Nevada. It's a, it's a city now, but back then it was just small. And the uh, reservoir was up about five miles up the road. And back then we didn't have much transportation, so we rode our bikes up there to go fishing. And we were going up the road, and this big light was coming down the road right toward us. No noise, no nothing, just dead calm, but there was this big light coming down. So we parked our bikes under a big old oak tree and sit there, and that light came, hovered right over us. I mean, it's exactly right over us, and the whole area was kind of light, and uh, no noise, no wind, no noise, no nothing. And then all of a sudden, bingo, he's gone. And uh, never did. My cousin and me never talked about it. <laughs> but hey, it was, it was strange. I was down on my hands and knees getting a tape measure around the tree and one of the guys said, is that a snake? And there was a copperhead right under my belly. Oh, I, man. I laid him right over him. Yeah. But uh, he just crawled away. Yeah. They said, aren't you going to kill him? I said, I think we're kind of in his territory. We'll just let him be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when me and Ryan went back to the cave, uh, I don't know, it's been a month now, he was within a foot of a copperhead that was, you know, coiled up by a rock and didn't see it. And, and I told him to come back to me and he did and then I pointed it out and he just went wild. Yeah, this tree is pointing exactly the same direction that other tree is. They're both pointing due west. Awesome. Now, the same degrees. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's possible they are there. Well, I mean, they're within a point or two. Yeah. Now... Um, you probably noticed Bob checking his phone there. That's, I'm sure he was uh, uh, getting the uh, coordinates for this uh, location. But uh, uh, that's something that we need to let everybody know. Um, you know, we don't, you know, of course, these are right beside the road. Anybody come down this road will, will uh, see these trees. And if they know what they are, they do. If they don't know what they are, they don't. But uh, if um, you don't know what road we're on, you're out of luck. Right. But this is, uh, um, you know, this is something that a Mountain Stewards uh, does not um, disclose the location of any of these trees. Um, uh, they, they keep the uh, information in their database uh, for mapping purposes and things like that. But as far as uh, sharing them uh, uh, with the public, uh, they do not dis disclose locations. The choo choo train. Yeah, I heard it earlier. Now, you like to kind of sketch a, a shape of the tree as well? Yeah, I like the, I like the way the tree is shaped. But uh, when you do your uh, documentation, you like to kind of do a sketch of it too, don't you? Yeah, I like to. Well, I put down the measurements. Too. Right, right. Oh. Each one. That one don't have a pronounced nose. Though. That's a good solid nose. Yeah. Okay. See, see the line right here. Now it comes up and then turns. Yeah. That's beauty. Look out. Man, that's a big tree. Too, 
that. <laughs> it's somebody's shooting lane. <laughs> Half their shooting lane, I don't care. He's getting a measurement around. It's 137 inches around the base. It's 137 inches. Yeah, you divide that by pi and you'll find the diameter. <laughs> so that'd be a little over 40 inches. Yeah. That's a pretty good tree. That'd put it in the it going by the uh, international arborist uh, um, formula. That would put it in the 250, 300, uh, 300 year range. It sure is a beautiful day. Yeah, it is. He is serious. No, well, it sure is. Now, for you, a sensitive ear is a scat. Yeah. But uh, for all the rest of us, there's some animal yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Raccoon's been using it. Yeah. Well, that tree is a lot bigger than it looks from the road. Oh, it is. is. It's going to be a pain in the butt to measure that. Uh, I don't mind getting a little wet if we have I think, to. I think I'd snake it around. No, I told him about the browser. Oh. Yeah. I think I can do that. Beaver wood. Yeah, hang on to that, Ricky D. Those are 37 inches. <laughs> okay. I think this is the whole thing. That's what I meant. I meant west. Southwest? Yeah, pointing southwest. Maybe pointing the uh, the best hollow to, you know, the best uh, route yeah. down the ravines to the river. Yep, there's still a lot of mystery in these trees. Okay, so a tree a lot there's like a this? a tree just like this, except it had a hollow nose here. About that big around. About the size of a beer can, Coke can. And uh, Barnett was down the hill on a steep incline just like this. And in fact, that, that tree was just about this size. 
And he's holding all this saplings back so I could get around and take some pictures. He was looking right at the nose of the tree and he said, Bob, he said, I see something in there. He said, that's got eyes and it's looking at me. <laughs> I said, come on, Barnett. He's always messing with me. He said, come on, Barnett. And uh, he said, no, no. He said, I can see, see his eyes moving. I said, come on, Barnett. I was, I was about 10 foot up there. About that time, a gray squirrel come out of that hole. Now, how he come out of that hole like he did, he just came out like it was shot out like a cannon. Went right over Barnett's shoulder. He turned loose everything went rolling down the hill. <laughs> mm. his, wife, his wife was sitting in the car down there, and she said, Barnett, you screamed like an old woman. <laughs> yeah, this, was, uh, this one's over on Lafferty Road, which... Uh, we believe uh, Lafferty Road, of course, is connected to the uh, um, the uh, Bethesda area of the Ruddle uh, Ruddle Hill, the area where Ruddle Mill was. Um, this was an important route in the early days. This is one of the earliest roads of the county here. And this is a high tree up on a ridge that would have. Uh, I'm sure it been meant to uh, look from the trail along the bottom or something, maybe? Yeah. It's pointing right down through there. It's right down. You wonder what, what these trees are doing up like this. Maybe down the hollow to the river? Yeah. Um, notice that tree over there, even next to that one? Yeah, I'm looking at that one too. That's Uh, we're down here now on uh, um, Brooks Bailey Branch um, here in the uh, community of Gid. This is a tree that we found several years ago. Passed by, oh, you know, probably a hundred times in my lifetime and never noticed it over here. Um, but uh, anyway, it just lies right along the uh, uh, Brooks Bailey Branch here. Um, really, really interesting looking tree. Bob's up there getting the measurements on it. Which direction is this one pointing you, to what you're checking out? Yeah, yeah, just about. It's got to be pretty well north. Northwest. Northwest. Well.
Of course, we're in the area, so uh, we had to bring Bob down to see the Gristmill waterfalls. The size of this tree is just really incredible. Yeah, I don't know if they'll have it documented or not. Huh? <clears throat> I don't know if Bound Stewards will have it documented or not. You think somebody else might have done it? Yeah, they might have, but there's been that many people coming looking at it. So Bob, what's probably the biggest tree that you found? Can you remember? Uh, yeah, it's uh, the biggest one I've found been a little over four and a half feet. Four and a half feet around the circumference, or that's, oh, that's, diameter. that's diameter? Wow. And where was that at? That's in uh, Van Buren County. Okay. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful tree. Yeah. Now, now we're we're not far from we're um, a Polk Bayou, which is one of the the well Polk Bayou. We're we're the Soto travel. Right, but Polk Bayou. We're going to go to the very headwaters of Polk Bayou when we leave here okay. to see the Big Spring uh, tree there at Big Spring. And Big Spring is the headwater. We are in Independence County right now, aren't we? Right now we're in Independence County, yes. We've been in Stone County and... Started we went, Stone? We went in Stone County across the river, didn't we? Yes. And been in Izzard County until now. Now we're going to head back to Izzard County. But we're, uh, we're in what what's called the sand town area now we're on uh, um, uh, Bailey Sawmill Road uh, just a uh, um, quarter mile away from Big Spring the actual Big Spring which is the water source that um, is the headwaters of Polk Bayou um, and uh, um, as you know uh, Polk Bayou was the original name of uh, Batesville um, Pope Bayou comes out there, and um, this would have been along this, yeah. somewhere along this route, women, would have been, uh, um, you know, the old uh, pathways well, from Batesville well, do, um, through Izzard County down towards yeah. uh, uh, Mill Creek and uh, Lunenburg. And this big spring is a known and uh, one that. Um, it will go. It's got towing package and everything. Bob, now this site, Big Spring. Um, is a known rest stop for the binge detachment coming out of Batesville. Uh, the wagons and stuff, when they come out, they stopped here and got water and stuff like that and rested. So this is a documented stop on the Trail of Tears binge detachment. Well, that's a nice tree. Yeah, it is. In fact, we looked at some very nice trees. Now, um... Neither Rick nor I can take the credit for actually spotting this. We have been looking for trees along this route. Of course, it's along Polk Bayou, naturally. Uh, we've been looking through, and we've been through here probably, uh, oh, a dozen times looking for trees um, over the years. And uh, uh, we came through here one time and uh, with uh, Pauletta. You've met Pauletta, but, uh, and then Maria Broughton. Uh, it was one of the first times she came along with us. And we got up to the top of the hill to stop to see if we can go down and look at the spring. And she said, did y'all see that tree down there? What tree? <laughs> <laughs> and we rushed back down here, and I was amazed, man, because, you know, this is a, you know, when you have a hypothesis, you're supposed to make predictions, right? Isn't that part of uh, um, uh, ev giving evidence to your hypothesis is uh, making predictions and yeah. th we've predicted that we're going to find them in places just exactly like this. Well that's that's what I'll do. I'll, <clears throat> if somebody tells me about a spring or something then I'll go to the spring then I'll make a big sweep around that spring. 
just to see if uh, just, and I usually yeah. find a tree. Well, wow. like Barnett and I were out in the Washita Forest, and uh, we drive along, and I looked down, and there was this natural, natural pond down there. But there were a lot of trees and everything all around. And I said, Barnett, that's that's natural. There's got to be a tree down there. There was. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's amazing when you get out, and, just like anything, you know, someone who's a, um, who air, hunts arrowheads, you know, they can spot just the corner of one sticking out of the dirt, and they, they know what it is. They can uh, kick it up. But, you know, just like a, um, I've learned to, you know, the how to look at the lay of the land and I found several caves just by saying hey that just doesn't look right you know or something like that um, same thing with waterfalls but uh, um, and trees you know I mean you've got to your eyes got to be trained for them uh, well, I, your eyes yeah, get I, trained I, for I them Barnett will say how do you see that I said well Barnett I don't know and I said I just and that sounds crazy it really does but when when I'm out like this, I just I just feel like somebody with me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just it's like I told you before. I'm I'm always looking up on the ridge to see see that Indian standing up there watching me. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, today it's Barnett. Yep. That Indian is Barnett. Yep. Um, He's a cache type right. deals that, that could yep. be look like maybe you know some kind of a. Uh, some kind of um, herb or or yeah. something that was, or even for sacred yeah. purposes, you know, an offering or something like that. Because, yeah. you know, I know a lot of people um, think that they could even be, some of them be sacred, yeah. you know, be... Uh, yeah, for sacred, uh, right, like, that's what I think those uh, grafted trees are. That was a sacred area. And uh, I really believe Yeah, that. we're at our last uh, tree for the day. Um, it's just about dark. It's actually after sunset right now. But uh, we had to try to get work this one in. This is along uh, Highway 56, just above Piney Creek, and uh, which is an important thing because we know uh, uh, one of the main roads. Uh oh, briars. Uh oh, yeah, watch out with the briars. And. Uh, but as you yep. see, it's right here on the side of the road. Bob, we passed this tree hundreds of times and never noticed it until just one day. You just happened to be looking down yeah. there, didn't you? But, uh... <laughs>